Have you ever tried needle felting? Today, I'm going to show you how to add hearts to the elbows of your sweaters. A foam pad, some red roving wool, a cookie cutter, felting needle, and a sweater. We've already marked off where we want the heart to go. So we're gonna go ahead and insert the foam into the sleeve of the sweater. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to place the heart down on the foam. And then you're gonna grab a ball of this red roving wool. If there's any other color stuck to it, just kind of pull them off. But you wanna sort of start making little wisps of it. You don't wanna just put a whole clump down. It will be way too hard to work with. So oop, it's a little staticky here today. So just go ahead and lay down the wool inside the heart. And you could start with a small amount. And then you're gonna go ahead and take your felting needle. You wanna make sure that you never work at an angle. You wanna only work upside down. And if you look closely, it might be hard to see at the needle, there are some little ridges in the needle. This friction is what causes the fibers to connect to the wool, so there's no sewing involved. This pretty much sews it to the fabric. So you're gonna take your needle with an up and down motion, and you're gonna start poking. Now I have done this with older kids in the past, and when I do that, I always prefer to use the cookie cutter method because then their other hand is holding the cookie cutter. It makes it less risky for the needle to actually hurt someone. So continuing to go up and down in the beginning might seem like it's gonna take a long time, but it's actually quite relaxing. And in a pretty short period of time, you'll end up with a pretty awesome piece of clothing. And you can also do needle felting. Most people recommend doing it on sweaters. You can do it on jeans. You could use it to mend holes. You can make stuffed animals. But this is um, just a good beginner lesson on how to start with just a simple form, simple shape. So you're gonna just go ahead and keep on punching the needle. So I think when you're starting out making a shape like this, it's always good to start with the perimeter. So I'm working my way around the inside perimeter. Just in case that cookie cutter moves, you'll have sort of a basic outline of your heart. You always pretty much can find your way back unless you're doing a very complicated shape. They also make tools that have several needles in them. And I like to use those for bigger open pieces of space like this middle area, but for these little crevices in the corners, you're gonna wanna use a single needle. And these needles do break quite frequently, so when they break, you can just throw them out and get another one. But if you are starting out making something felted, you wanna make sure that you have a nice supply of needles on hand, not just one. Don't buy just one. So I'm just working my way around the perimeter, making sure that any part that looks fluffy is flat. Looking at that, it looks like I have a pretty nice perimeter shape there. So in a minute, I'm going to show you how it is looking. So you can see there's a lot of bald spots in here. When you go to remove the foam, it's going to be completely stuck to the sweater you're going to want to go really slowly. Take a little bit of water, you're going to mist it, iron it. 